the first thing on this list is actually a gaming mouse. This is the Logitech G Pro X Superlight. This is honestly a phenomenal mouse that is around $150 Canadian. And I'm, let me check how much it is US. I think it's hundred bucks US. Now at $110, this is a very good mouse. Now a couple of other options that are similar to this mouse would be the Viper Ultimate 2 or even the Glorious Model O. This mouse is really good, it glides pretty well and the supplied mouse feet are pretty damn good. It also comes with a little puck if you want even more glide that you can swap out at the bottom of the mouse. In terms of battery life, I think you're looking at about 70 hours, which is pretty good and it charges relatively quick. You know, I'll plug it in for about 10, 15 minutes and I'm good to go for another couple of hours. Paired with this mouse, I have the mouse pad from Glorious. This is just their standard mouse pad in extra large. So I actually got recommended this mouse pad from a friend of mine. He told me to try it out as it feels a lot like the QCK. So after trying it out a little bit, I did find that it feels very similar. Maybe glides just a little bit smoother and a little bit more. Like all mouse pads, it's all up to personal preference. If you like a super glidey mouse pad or if you like more of a control pad. This bad boy was on sale for about 25 Canadian dollars. I'm not sure what the US conversion is, but I'll have it linked down below. The next thing that you can almost never go wrong with as a gift is a brand new controller. So you have two options. You can either go for an Xbox controller or a PS5 controller, or obviously there's other consoles out there like the Switch Joy-Cons and whatnot. But for the sake of this video, we're only gonna focus on the Xbox and the PS5 controller. So I went out and picked up a beautiful Pulse Red Xbox controller. This thing was about $60 Canadian and for US, it'll be about $40. Honestly, pretty good price for a controller, especially if you've been wearing out your controller, those joysticks are looking very loose. You wanna get something brand new, get those fresh triggers, everything. Now for the PS5 controller, those are not on sale, but I did pick up a nice looking blue. I don't know what the actual blue is called, but it's actually beautiful. It looks really nice when I pair it with the white PS5 remote that comes with the console, as well as the special edition God of War. They just all work together to you know, create like a seamless kind of bundle of controllers. Moving on, now that you have so many controllers, you should probably think about how you're gonna charge them. Rather than just using one USB cable to charge all three of them, you get a dock to charge. Now this is a official PlayStation charging station that I use. I honestly love the way it looks. Another alternative would be the Razer one that I'll show a little screenshot of right over here. And I really like how you can have two controllers on display and charging. They don't charge at the same time. They wait for one to get charged fully and then charges the next one. But I find when it's sitting on your media console, it looks really nice. And it's a great way to keep cables from hanging off your console or having to search for your cable every time you need to charge a controller. This charger will run you 30 US dollars or $40 Canadian in my case. Real quick before moving on to the next product, if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to like and subscribe since it really helps the channel and apparently it makes a difference with the algorithm. Now moving on to the Xbox Series S. This thing, honestly, I recently picked it up and I truly believe this is the best bang for your buck. At 320 Canadian dollars, this thing is an absolute steal. What is this in US dollars? $240? This thing is an absolute steal. Like. How is this console only $240? It is 4K, 60, 4K, 120, 1080, 120. Dude, this thing is a beast. I picked it up and I, I just, I had no words for it. This thing is tiny, the form factor is crazy, and it's, it's so cheap. I literally have nothing to say about it that's bad. Maybe I have to use it more, but you know, so far I've seen literally no problems with it to just game on casually and have fun. I literally don't see how you can go wrong with it. And I don't, I don't, I don't know what more to say about this console. The thing's a beast. Game Pass, so many crazy games on it. First month, a dollar. What is that? What are you doing, Microsoft? You guys are nuts. You guys are the best for like releasing a console this affordable for everybody. Especially when you compare it to like the PS5. I think I paid like 750 Canadian for that thing. I think it's beautiful, I love it. The exclusive games like Spider-Man, God of War, phenomenal, love them. But like 240 US dollars, 320 Canadian dollars, like can't go wrong with this thing. Add it on. Now you love PS5, add on the Xbox, why not? Yeah, make sure to pick up an Xbox. You know, it's a steal. But the only drawback to this Xbox is that there is almost no storage. I think you only get about 380 gigs of usable storage. And with the games that are out nowadays being 50 to 90 gigs, that's gonna fill up extremely quickly. One other thing is that if you do wanna spend a bit more money, I did notice that the PS5 is actually a lot easier to get your hands on. Somehow I casually walked into Best Buy a few months ago and they had them in stock. I walked in again a few weeks ago and they still had them in stock. So if you are looking for a PS5 and you've been looking for one lately, just check your nearest stores and they might have one in stock, especially with the God of War bundle that's out. Now moving away from console gaming, we're just gonna look at a little accessory that adds a little bit of flair to your PC gaming setup. This is the coiled cable or aviator cable as they were called before, but people love to call them coiled cables. La, la, la. People love to call them coiled cable nowadays. So this one's by a company where I don't even want to try to pronounce their name. 
It's a little cold cable and my monitor just turned off. Just make sure real quick that you get the right end. You make sure, like if you need USB-C, you get USB-C. If you need micro USB, you get micro USB. And make sure that the cable is long enough if it is far from the PC itself. I think it's about 1.5 meters, the one that I got. And I'm not sure if they come in different sizes or not. Now here is one accessory that I think is almost completely invaluable. Like you absolutely need this accessory for any kind of gaming console nowadays. And it's some kind of external storage or expandable storage. So with the Xbox, you have the option of connecting a drive through USB or even through the back. There's a little expandable slot. I think it's Seagate that makes the um, expandable card for that slot there. Those are a bit more pricey, but apparently they work really well. Other than that, what I would recommend is getting a SanDisk Extreme SSD. Just one thing to watch out for is there are three different models. There's one model that read writes at around 500 megabytes, another one that goes to a thousand and one more that goes to 2000. So make sure you're just getting the right one for you. Now, one thing to look out for is to make sure you're formatting the drive to the correct format. I'm not sure exactly what the formats are since I haven't set one up for my Xbox Box, but I do plan on doing it eventually. Now for the PS5, on the other hand, it's a little bit different. You have to remove one of the panels and install an NVMe SSD. So basically like the one you install on your PC's motherboard, you need to do the same thing for the PS5. Now the benefit of that is that you're gonna get an extremely fast drive in your console. Well, that's all for this video. If you guys enjoyed this, there are two more gift guides. One is home living and the other one is photography and videography tech. So that's all, later.